Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing our boxy charm unboxing. I'm so excited about this month because there are a couple of products in here that I was really excited to get. This month's box is called the Caribbean Queen and it comes with this cool little pamphlet with the description of the products here. There is a QR code that you can scan on the back. Uh, for exclusive giveaways and promos and then it's got this cute little picture of a bunch of influencers and um, I guess they're all wearing this new palette which is the first product in the box and it is by Alamar Cosmetics and the creator of Alamar Cosmetics actually works for BoxyCharm and I really was excited for this because I saw her post about it and explain it and I just really like her because I feel like she's so relatable and this is what the palette looks like and I'm really really excited about it it is just so so beautiful and I am going to do a tutorial with this in a few minutes the next thing in the box is this Baddington lashes Monroe silk lashes next we have the so de Janeiro Brazilian bum bum cream. This is so amazing and it smells so good. Then we have a three-piece Luxie Flawless Complexion brush set. It looks like it comes with a duo fiber brush, a precision foundation brush, and a tapered highlighter brush. Next we have an eyeliner, a waterproof eyeliner pencil, and it is by the brand Jante Blue. I'm not really sure. If that's how you pronounce it but I'll put it in the description box and I got the shade 903 dark brown and then last but not least the another product that I was super excited about is this Ofra liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Verona so beautiful so for the video this month I really just wanted to focus mostly on this palette because it is so so beautiful and I just really wanted to try and do a really nice look with it I have already primed my eyes, put on my foundation, bronzer, blush, like all of that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in to the eyeshadow tutorial. So the first shade I'm going to dip into is this beautiful, like deeper oranges color and it is called Tropico. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that the eyeshadow portion is done, by the way, this palette is probably my favorite palette that I have ever gotten from BoxyCharm ever. I love it so much. I love how this makeup look turned out. The colors blend so well together. I mean, there was like, I'm telling you, there was like no fallout on my face, which is like unbelievable, especially using those shimmer shades. I'm just gonna put this on right next to my lash line just to give my lashes some depth. Um, I don't know if it's because of the shimmers that I'm using, but I don't feel like this liner is going on like real smooth. Okay, it's doing better now. I think it works better if instead of using the point, you have to kind of like lay it sideways. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try these lashes by Baddington Lashes. And I'm just going to be upfront about this. I just don't know if I'm going to lock these. I'm going to apply them with House of Lashes glue because that is my favorite. And while my glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and put on lower lash mascara because I like to utilize my time. And then last, I'm going to put on this Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. I wanted to try this liquid lipstick on for the purposes of the video, but I don't really feel like it matches this makeup look very well, so my eyeshadow look, so I'm gonna wipe it off, but I will tell you I love the lipstick. I would love it with a different eye look, and it is so good feeling. It is very creamy, and it's already drying down, but it doesn't feel like cakey or like I've got chapped lips it feels really really good so I think that instead I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin something a little bit more nude and neutral this is such a bright eyeshadow look and I'm going to the eye doctor, so I don't want to go in there looking too crazy. Okay, I do feel like this was the better choice, something a little more soft and nude. <laughs> so one thing I forgot to do was tell you the price on everything in the box. So the Alamar Cosmetics palette retails for $28. The Baddington Monroe Silk Lashes retail for $28. The Luxie three-piece flawless complexion brush set retails for $42. The Jante Bleu waterproof eyeliner pencil retails for $5. And the Ofra long-lasting liquid lipstick retails for $21. My favorite thing in the box was obviously the palette. I love it. I love this look. I'm probably going to wear it a lot. My second favorite thing was the Ofra liquid lipstick so those two things combined together would be like $49 so this box is totally worth it for me I did not use the brushes because I had already done the rest of my face makeup so but I have always liked a lot of Luxie's brushes so I'm sure that they're great the Brazilian bum bum cream is like I already knew I love that because I've had samples of that before and it is wonderful and it smells like out of this world. I did not like the Jante Blue eyeliner pencil that much, but seeing that it was only $5, it's not bad for a $5 pencil. The lashes, I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with them. You know, once they're on, they don't look that bad. They look pretty nice, actually. I didn't have a lot of trouble getting them on, but this one, had like a really pointy edge and it was like 
like stabbing like my eyelid here so I ended up having to pull that one off and then like snipping the end and reapplying it but after that it it was fine overall I love this box it, this is one of my favorite boxes because this palette did it for me and this palette is one of my favorite palettes I have ever ever received in a boxy charm hands down without a doubt thank you guys so much for tuning into this boxy charm unboxing and I will see you in my next tutorial bye